Hi, I'm Marie Butler, the Executive Director of the Richards Institute of Education and Research. If you are viewing this introductory video, it means that you have inquired about ETM and its practices with children and adults throughout the United States and abroad. We are happy to provide this information to you and hope that you will find this both challenging and informational as you seek to better your teaching, provide quality instruction, and work more effectively with children. Thank you for your interest. Education Through Music explores the critical contribution of the aesthetic in the nature and education of the postmodern child in the age of the digital brain. In every course and workshop, we strive to provide an inspiring exploration of this innovative approach to better equip educators for today's learning environments. Through song and play, ETM fosters understanding of human development and learning in light of contemporary research in neuroscience. Eugene Kalin, in his seminal writings on the aesthetic experience, which Mary Helen quotes in the Aesthetic Foundations for Thinking, Part 1, says, The aesthetic experience appears to one who opens himself to the working of a work. Our work in education through music has elevated this understanding to suggest that the entire world of learning appears to one who opens himself to the working of a work in learning and that the aesthetic experience, this feeling of well-being, this feeling of connection to others, this feeling that I can do things that are even difficult if I just add more effort, have always been the underpinnings of education through music. So the notion that the aesthetic would be an opening gateway to the brain's ability to learn and to be interested in the highest levels of thinking has been a constant challenge for us and a constant gift for us as we've seen it develop in the children. ETM, based in song and play experiences, is accessible to all. No musical training or ability is required to participate in study or to fully implement its practices. It is to the benefit of all who spend their time with children, including classroom teachers, music educators, special education teachers, coaches, pediatricians, therapists, parents, grandparents, and other caregivers. I hate to say it, but not all children love reading. I found that when I was a classroom teacher, I was very dismayed by this. And so I would be thinking, how can I tie a beloved song experience game to a classroom book? So if they had a chance to play the farmer in the dell and be the farmer, then later they would have to write about that character or describe that character. Their writing or their uh, comprehension was much greater because they had had the experience of being that character. So having that deeper well of experience to draw from, I think, is very beneficial. So I would think all teachers to challenge yourself all day long. How can I inject play and imagination into everything I teach, not just music? Education Through Music offers annual courses during the year providing in-depth study of and immersion in the practice of education through music with master teachers. Courses are offered September through May and are broken into multiple sessions totaling 30 hours of study. Colloquium, or our summer conference, is a week-long summer study consisting of daily observation of ETM master teachers working with children, special interest sessions, including classroom, music literacy, special needs cafes, and the study of child development from the latest research in neuroscience. Education Through Music's Summer Fine Arts Day Camps offer a full week-long experience designed for adults and children to participate together in music, education through music, art, and storytelling taught by master ETM teachers.